Welcome to another Tech Help video brought to you by AccessLearningZone.com. I'm your instructor, Richard Rost. Today we got one for the beginners, and it's surprisingly something I just learned myself. And that's how you can use the midstring function, just like the right function, which totally blew my mind when I saw this a couple days ago. Let me give you some background. Okay, I've been working with string functions since I was a child, literally. I started programming in BASIC on my Coco, my Tandy Radio Shack color computer back in the 80s, right? And I've been using left, right, mid, length, and in string since I can remember, right? And I've always used left to get the left X number of characters from a string, right to get the right X most number of characters from a string, mid to get stuff in the middle, Right, you go in three characters and give me the next three characters in the middle of the string, right? Okay, length gives you the whole length of the string and in string finds the position of something inside that string. All right, and, and that, that's pretty much it. Go watch this video for more details on how all of these guys work. But what I didn't realize was it's actually easier to get the right side of the string using the mid function than it is to use the right function. Now, let me show you. All right, let's say you got a table or you import some data, whatever, where you've got full name in one field and you want to separate them, okay? Now, obviously, if you've got a string where you know the position of where you want to separate it, like it's always the fifth character, then yeah, it's easy to use the right string function to get the right four characters. But if it's different, if it varies, like here, then it's actually easier to use mid. And let me show you what I mean. So let's create a query. And this query will be based on that full name table, right? I'll bring in the full name. And if you look at it, now we got to figure out where in that full name the space is. And yes, this is a very simple example. It only works with names that have one space in them. If you get a name like Jean-Luc Picard or Eddie Van Halen, it's not going to work. Just bear with me. I'm just trying to make a point. Okay. Now, to find that space, we can use the in string function. Right, so the space position is going to be in string, the full name field, comma, and then a space like that. That'll say, give me the position of where that space character is. Right, and if I run this now, there you go. Right, in my name, it's in the eighth position. Down here, it's in the fourth position, and so on. Now, to pull out the left X characters, the, the first name, we just grab the left X minus one characters, right? So in here, to find the first name, We'd go first name is the left of full name, comma, space position minus one, right? And now if I run this, there you go. There's the first name, okay? Now, traditionally, what I used to do to get the last name is you'd have to figure out the length of the entire string and then subtract the space position. So it used to look like this, right? So the last name would be the right of full name, comma, the length of full name, minus space pose, right? That'll figure out how many, you know, the entire length of the string and then subtract that space pose, and that will give you the right number of characters. And that works, that's I've been doing it for years, but it's actually easier. All you gotta do is say, give me the right X characters from the space position and add one to it. Watch, it's really, it's weird, watch. We'll do last name two over here, watch. Oh, someone's beaming in. All right, we'll say last name two. It's gonna be mid full name, comma, space pose, that's the space, right, plus one. Now, normally, I always thought, since I was a child, I always thought you had to have that third parameter. How many over do you wanna go? But if you don't specify that, it just goes to the end of the string. Right, hit okay, and watch this, Pff, mind blown. It basically says, start at that character, that space pose character, and if you don't specify the next parameter, it just says, give me from that spot to the end of the line, the end of the string. I, I'm, I, I saw this, I'm like, what is going on? This goes against everything I've ever known about mid. And some of you probably know this already, I did not. So I, I immediately had to make a video and share this with all of you guys. I'm 51 years old. I've been programming in basic since I was probably eight years old. And I just learned this. 
So don't feel bad <laughs> because even me, I still learn the simplest things just are like, what? That blew my mind. So if you already knew that, I want to hear from you. Post a comment down below and tell me. Say, Rick, what, what, what have you been sleeping for these 30 some years? <laughs> okay, well, that's it. That's all. I got lots more lessons like this on my website. Come check it out. You'll find links down below. That's going to be your tech help video for today. I hope you learned something. I know I did. <laughs> Live long and prosper, my friends. I'll see you next time. A special thank you and shout out to our diamond sponsor, Juan Soto with Access Experts Software Solutions. They're manufacturing experts specializing in Microsoft Access and SQL Server. Juan is a 13-time Microsoft Access MVP. Check them out at accessexperts.com. If you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up and post any comments you may have below. I do try to read and answer all of them as soon as I can. Make sure you subscribe to my channel, which is completely free. Click the bell icon and select all to receive notifications when new videos are posted. Want to learn more? Click the show more link below the video to find additional resources and links. YouTube does a pretty good job of hiding it. It's right down there. See this part of the description here, right? The name, the videos up here. There's a little show more down there, right down the bottom. It's kind of hard to find. But once you click on that, you'll see a list of other videos, additional information related to the current topic, free lessons, and lots more. And YouTube no longer sends out email notifications when new videos are posted like they used to do. But if you'd like to get an email every time I post a new video, click on the link to join my mailing list. And you can pick how frequently to get emails from me, either as they happen daily, weekly, or monthly. Now, if you'd like to become a paid member of my channel and receive all kinds of awesome perks, click on the join button. You'll see a list of all the different membership levels that are available, each with its own special perks, including my extended cut videos, access to my code vault, lots of VBA source code in there, template downloads, and lots more. I'll talk more about these perks at the end of the video. Even if you don't want to commit to becoming a paid member and you'd like to help support my work, please feel free to click on the tip jar link. Your patronage is greatly appreciated and will help keep these free videos coming I got some puppies to feed. But don't worry, no matter what, these free tech help videos are going to keep coming. As long as you keep watching them, I'll keep making more and they'll always be free. Now, if you really want to learn Access and you haven't tried my free Access Level 1 course, check it out now. It covers all the basics of Microsoft Access, including building forms, queries, reports, and more. It's over four hours long. You could find it on my website or on my YouTube channel. I'll put a link down below you can click on. And did I mention it's completely free? The whole thing, free, four hours, go watch it. And okay, okay, a lot of you have told me that you don't have time to sit through a four hour course. So I do now have a quicker Microsoft Access for Beginners video that covers all the basics faster in about 30 minutes. And no, I didn't just put the video on fast forward. <laughs> but I'll put a link to this down below as well. Now, if you like level one, level two is just a dollar. That's it, one dollar. And that's another whole like 90 minute course. Level two is also free for paid members of any level, including supporters. So if you're a member, go watch level two, it's free. Okay, wanna get your question answered in a video just like this one? Visit my tech help page and send me your question there. Members get priority, of course. While I do try to read and respond to all of the comments posted below in the comments section, I only have time to go through them briefly a couple of times a month, and sometimes I get thousands of them. So send me your question here on the tech help page, and you'll have a better chance of getting it answered. And while you're on my website, be sure to stop by my Access Forum. We've got lots of lively conversations about Microsoft Access and other topics. I have a fantastic group of moderators who help me answer questions. Shout out to Alex, Kevin, Scott, Adam, John, Dan, Juan, and everybody else who helps out on the site. I appreciate everything you do. I couldn't do it without you. Be sure to follow my blog, find me on Twitter, and of course on YouTube. Yeah, I'm on Facebook too, but I don't like Facebook. Don't get me started. 
Now, let's talk more about those member perks if you do decide to join as a paid member. There are different levels, silver, gold, platinum, and diamond. Silver members and up get access to all of my extended cut tech help videos, one free beginner class every month, and some other perks. Gold members get all the previous perks, plus access to download the sample databases that I build in my tech help videos, plus access to my code vault where I keep tons of different functions that I use, the code that I build in most of the videos. You'll also get higher priority if you do submit any tech help questions. Now answers are never guaranteed, but you do go higher in the list for me to read them. And if I like your question, you got a good chance of it being answered. You'll also get one free expert level class each month after you've finished the beginner series. Platinum members get all the previous perks plus even higher priority for tech help questions. You get access to all of my full beginner level courses for every subject. And I cover lots of different subjects like Word, Excel, VBA, ASP, lots of different stuff, not just access. These are the full length courses found on my website. You get all the beginner ones. In addition, once you finish the expert classes, you get one free developer class per month. So lots of training. And finally, you can also become a diamond sponsor. You'll have your name or your company name listed on a sponsors page that will be shown on each video as long as you're a sponsor. You'll get a shout out in the video and a link to your website or product in the text below the video and on my website. So that's it. Once again, my name is Richard Rost. Thank you for watching this video brought to you by AccessLearningZone.com. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you learned something today. Live long and prosper, my friends. I'll see you again soon.